Work vlog! Yes, it is Wednesday. Today is actually Monday, but um, when you are seeing this, it is Wednesday, and tomorrow morning I leave for PAX East, which I am really excited about and sort of really nervous about because I've never done a con like that before. I've never been to one like that, but it's going to be being rad. Jim swears in a headshot, or in a, in a Wuzu video. That's new. We do have headshots videos. You can find them right here, over there, next to my ear. I am excited because awesome things are happening. We have amazing sponsors coming in. We have all kinds of weird and interesting prep we're doing because we have an amazing team this year. We had an amazing team last year, but this year it's bigger and better. Uh, but that is not what this video is about. Uh, I'm not making a video just to like promote random people's things or my things. But uh, and no, I want to talk about how to throw a meeting. Um, I organize a lot of meetings here at the university. This is sort of my that's sort of my bag. I'm here in a big empty room with these muffins. Yeah, there are certain essentials to throwing a meeting. Food is it, if you want people to come. Uh, happily, faculty are really not fans. They're sufficiently busy that they're not fans of meetings where nothing happens or nothing gets done. They get really mad, usually, if that, if that happens. Not always, but usually. And uh, so we try and throw, have really functional meetings, but there's still the issue of you gotta, you got people have to sort of organize it in their priorities. And part of that is about reminding them, but part of that is just throwing a good meeting. One part, so you want people to know that things are happening, useful things are going to happen there. And so we communicate that through our blog posts and through emails and through things like that. You also want to have food. Seriously. Free food, best thing ever. You know, veggie trays for people who like bland stuff. We're, it's a it's, uh, morning, so we had muffins and juice. Uh, our general meeting has samosas because everyone loves samosas. And that's why, why we have them is because people were like, oh my God, we love these samosas. We're like, well, let's have samosas then. Because if they know the samosas will be there, then they will come. And it's important partly because lots of people don't like going to meetings. There's a certain, I have to admit, there's a certain weariness to it, especially when a meeting reaches a certain size. You get 50 people in a room and it gets less productive and less useful and you're just sort of, it becomes a talk rather than a discussion. But it's exciting. I think about it more because we, we've been having a lot, a lot less meetings with headshots. Uh, we, we had a big meeting at the end of last year. And we had about 15 people and it took about four hours and it was really sort of un useful in, in some ways and useful in others, but one of the things we learned is that we needed to break it down into smaller groups. And so now we don't work in a group larger than about five, and everybody has their thing and does their thing, and the people who are involved in communications or the people who are involved in doing our tech or um, those of us who do logistics or organizing, we get together in small groups and then we communicate that to people in larger groups, and it works way better than trying to have everyone in the same room. <sighs> I love meetings, though. I love that feeling of sitting down and working things out with, with other people and, and coming away from it feeling inspired and psyched up and ready to do things. And that's a, a good meeting makes you want to do that. It makes you fired up. A good meeting doesn't make you want to fall asleep. Every time I gesture with this hand you can't see, my other hand shakes. It's so weird, but I didn't bring my full-size tripod today because... I'm living out of my office. But, yeah, I mean, throw good meeting, throwing, throwing a good meeting isn't just about having food or about having the right people or about having a commitment to productivity. It's about sort of following through on that and trying to make people inspired. It's a lot like giving a good talk or teaching a good class. And I don't know that people always think about it that way. Or I think more often, I think that's uncharitable, I think more often the things that we think will inspire people are not always the things that we think they are. You know, we're, we're always more inclined to be more excited about our own stuff. Yeah. Tell me about meetings that you have been in or meetings that are otherwise um, have been good or have been bad and tips that you have. I would love to hear it because I throw a lot of meetings. And I will see you guys tomorrow with 
something because tomorrow I will be on the road to PAX and I will not be able to upload a video until very late when we get to Boston because um, we're going to PAX East, not PAX PAX. I just think of it as PAX because PAX is in Seattle and far. Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.